Hi, this is Annette Sullivan from Lavender Thoughts. Thanks very much for joining me today. I'm going to show you how you can make more from your dies to use them for embossing as well as die cutting. Now in this particular card here, you can see that this black piece has been die cut and then using the same die, I have put the run it through as an embossing folder so that you get embossing on there. Hopefully you can see that in the photo. I've also done it on the inside there and you can see I've actually sponged over it so it comes up a bit more. So it's quite a simple process and all you're going to need for it are the Big Shot embossing mats which consist of a thick white plate similar to your acrylic plates but a different consistency, a thick grey silicon mat and a very paper thin blue silicon mat. Now just a word of warning here, you can see I've actually got a bit of a cut in mine here. If you start rolling it through your big shot and it feels a bit tight, stop. I didn't and that's why it cut. I didn't have the right sandwich for it because um, I was thinking of something else at the time and I just kept going. So yep, it'll still work fine. But if you just watch the sandwich, you'll be right. Now on the back of the instruct, it shows you the instructions on how to use it. Um, so if you get stuck, they're all there. Now I'll have details on my blog as well to show you how that's actually going. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the stained glass thinlets and we're using this particular big one here. Now as you can see I've already run it through on the piece for the inside of the card and we'll sponge that in a minute. Okay. So to create our pieces I've just used a bit of washi tape here and the sandwich. Now if you think of it that you're doing embossing then you're going to use your embossing sandwich. So if you've got the old multi-purpose platform, you're going to open tab two and just have tab one here. And then you're going to put down your acrylic plate. Oops. Acrylic plate. And then normally you're going to have your die cut going down this way. Let's bring that light in a bit there. So normally you'd have it that way if you're going to cut it, but we're not cutting it. So we're going to turn it upside down. And we're going to put this thin blue mat on top of it. And then we're not using the grey mat today. And we're just going to put the white one on top of that. And we're just going to run that through. Now you won't feel like there's very much pressure at all in it. But you'll be quite surprised as to now you can see even on the back of that you've got the indentations but again it hasn't cut through so on this particular one we're actually just going to run it through on the opposite side here and again We'll just have our tab 2 open, our acrylic plate, our dies, and then our cardstock, our blue mat, and our white plate. I'll just run that through. Just take that off and again you can see both of them on the back here and then we'll just take that off and we've got our piece for the front. Okay so the next thing we're going to do is to die cut our black piece. So it's die cutting so we're going to have all our tabs closed going to have our cutting platform, D 
down. Our cardstock. And our top acrylic one. And we're just going to run that through. And I'll just run it back again. I like to use the magnetic platform for this one, but tonight I've got the other one here. Okay, so you can see through there that it's cut. Well, you might not be able to see that it's actually cut through all those. Okay. Let's take all these little bits out. It's amazing how much difference a new um, acrylic plates make. Mine have been pretty well bowed for quite a while now and I've been persevering with them. But I thought for the new year I would shout myself a new set of plates. And it just cuts through straight away. Get all these little bits out. You usually find you have little black bits or little die cut bits all around the house. If you're like me, they just seem to fly everywhere. Especially if you've got a fan on, the air conditioning on in the background. Okay. All nice and finished. So for this particular card, I'm using a soft sea foam. And we're going to stick that on there. Like so. Now, what I have done is I have taken a piece of the designer vellum. Um, I don't I'll just tell you what the name of it is. It's the Graceful Glass Designer Vellum, and there's all different patterns in the um, in the pack, and that's another one of them. And I have just coloured them with the markers. Now I've coloured this one on the front. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that piece of vellum to my piece of cardstock. Now normally when you glue vellum you can see where you put the glue. But with this little trick you won't be able to see it. So I have got a piece of uh, spun, stamp and sponge there and I've just cut it up and I've just sta stapled a piece of cardstock on the top of it. And it's quite sticky. So I keep that one in a little Ziploc bag, just handy for when I want it. So all I'm going to do now is just get the glue to come out. I used this a few minutes ago. Does this always happen? Get my trusty paper clip. Just put that in there. That's better. Then we just need a little blob like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over. We're going to pick up the sponge and we're just going to just so that it's not in one big blob, blob, I suppose would be the word. And then you're just going to tap it all over the back. Get that out of the way. And then we can just line that up on there. And have a look, you can't see any glue. It works very well. So to put the card together, I will glue all that down, 
pop that on the top, then use the um, sentiment up here on some dimensionals and that will be the card. Now for the inside, I said I'd show you how we're just going to do a little bit of sponging over the top of that. So again, I have got my pink piece of sponge and I usually just put a piece of, cut out, punch out a little piece of the cardstock and um, write the name on it. In this case, it's I've got powder pink, but I'm using petal pink, but they're pretty close. So you just make sure there's no ink on there. Got my petal pink. And all we're trying to do is just to give it a little bit more definition so that it brings up the colours quite well. So you can see that embossing. And then you've just got something pretty on the inside of your card. Now I like to decorate my envelopes as well. So what I have done here is um, you can see I've just done exactly the same. So I've just got the, the die and I put it on the envelope like so and then just run it through the same sandwich. So that was for my grey granite card there. So just take this one. Pop that on the card. Shift all these other bits out of the way. So again, tab one, tab two up. I'm just going to pop that in, and then we're going to have our acrylic plate, our die turned upside down, and we need a bigger table. <laughs> and put the blue mat over there. And then the white plate. And then we're just going to run that through, and I'll just run that through off screen. So there we have our envelope quickly decorated. And I'll just give that a little bit of a, oops, preferably not with the Tombow one. Good idea to pop him straight back in the packet when you're finished. Now I've been using this one for, I don't know, seven or eight months now and it still works well. So I just keep it in the Ziploc bag. There's a little hole in that there so it's not going to go mouldy or anything. The silicon mat the uh, glue on the silicon mat will dry and you'll just be able to rub it off a bit later. Come back with our pink one this time. Make sure I've got the pink one. Now I'll have all the supplies and measurements in my blog post which will be linked under this video. So you can basically do this sort of thing with any of your dies and some of the more intricate ones um, you can cut and emboss with which I will leave for a future video. So this is when we're using the thinlets. Um, in my next video I will be using some of the um, oval framelots to show you how you can make your oval um, frames without having to um, cut them. You can just emboss them and have a, a one layer or a simple simple layer card. Um, okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you again soon. Uh, don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel so you can see what's upcoming. I'm looking forward to doing lots more videos uh, in 2019. 
Uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.